With deep concerns for the increasing clampdown on the civic space ahead of the general election, a civic a society group, Spaces for Change, is calling on individuals and the government to work together to end the crackdown on civic groups and concerned individuals. A correspondent, Mercy Frank, brings us more. Spaces for Change initiative brought pressmen together to express its deep concerns about a trend of increase in the exercise of overbearing government power, especially as the scheduled general elections draw near. The documentation shows that regular targets of these crackdowns range from journalists, social critics, NGO workers to activists. Between May 2015 to May 2017, Spaces for Change has tracked 150 incidents of governmental power. Documentations show that the regular targets of these crackdowns range from journalists to NGO workers to social critics to bloggers to activists, challenging official corruption, human rights abuses, environmental injustices, and so forth. Out of the 150 cases we tracked, 56 were journalists. 21 were involved in public protest. 13 were activists. Eight were critics, mainly social media commentators and bloggers. 16 were just active citizens that are vocal in offline and online spaces. Five are public figures, six were members of the indigenous people of Biafra. Six were students, four members of um, political opposition parties, four were world union leaders, five religious leaders, four teachers, and two clergymen. These civil rights groups are calling on those in power to put a stop to the persistent attacks. They want the government to channel its energy towards protecting and promoting fundamental human rights as enshrined in the Constitution. Mercy Frank. STV News.